What's new, Pussycat? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Josie and the Pussycats cast. Where are they now? Plus, how he kept folding his napkin like he's afraid he doesn't have any real friends. Just people who want to use him because he's just a big music guy. Yeah. For this list, we're looking at the cast of the 2001 live-action satirical musical comedy based on the popular Archie comic series and the 1970s cartoon of the same name, and seeing what they've been up to for nearly two decades. Oh my god! We love you! We're like your biggest fan! <laughs> Number 10. Alexander Martin Grandson of legendary Rat Packer Dean Martin, it's no wonder Alex Martin was able to portray Les, one of the members of the movie's parody boy band du jour without a hitch. Yo, we were like working on some remixes of the last single, right? And we heard like a really strange background track. However, his career has been relatively low-key over the years, as he continued to play various bit parts in more obscure movies like 2001's Free, 2008's Chinaman's Chance, America's Other Slaves, and Three Priests. You want it too. His resume also includes episodic appearances on the show's Haunted and Private Practice, and it's been recently announced that he will star in the upcoming film One Week in Hollywood. Since 2011, Martin has been married to realtor Megan W. Martin, and they have one child together. I'm glad that I'm old enough now to appreciate it and that this has come along at this time. Number 9. Tom Butler this seasoned Canadian performer played Agent Kelly, a scheming member of the U.S. government intent on brainwashing America's youth. Holy shit, that girl's got a skunk on her head. Oh, jeez, that's just your hair. He's continued to act in various TV and films, mostly portraying parental or authority figures. Butler guest starred in two episodes of the series Supernatural, as Monty in 2017's Rogue, Lawrence Riley in Chesapeake Shores from 2016 to 2017, and Speaker Barnes in a few episodes of Salvation. Though not much is known about him outside of his acting work, Tom Butler has also appeared in the 2015 erotic drama Fifty Shades of Grey as the WSU University president and more recently in 2020 Sonic the Hedgehog as Vice Chairman Walters. Do you want to send in a lab rat? Not just any lab rat, a lab rat with teeth. Number 8. Paulo Costanzo the Pussycat's flamboyant and incompetent manager Alexander Cabot III is played by another Canadian actor, Paulo Costanzo. Hey, honey, I'm running a management company here. I can't be everywhere at once. Oh, wouldn't that be cool, though, if you could? Mostly known for playing stoner Ruben in the 2000 comedy Road Trip, Costanzo seemed to shift his efforts to the small screen once he landed the role of Michael Tribbiani in the 2004 short-lived Friends spinoff, Joey. If anybody wants any water, it's all set. <laughs> Most of his acting credits have consisted of supporting roles in low-profile features. While he has simultaneously managed to snag multiple bigger roles on TV shows, like Royal Pains, Season 1 of The Expanse, and Season 2 of Designated Survivor. In 2019, he was seen in a Season 1 episode of FBI. And then I auditioned, I auditioned to go in and I, and I got in. Number 7. Missy Pyle Alexandra Cabot may not be the most endearing, but she sure is fun to watch. Hello, Alexander. Have you lost some weight? Bite me, Bambi. Pyle, known mostly for her zany supporting roles, is a skilled character actress that continued to expand her resume with performances in movies like Big Fish, Dodgeball, and Gone Girl. She's also guest starred on numerous sitcoms, with a recurring role in season 5 of Mom, and more recently as one of the main characters in the sci-fi drama Impulse. I made you scrambled eggs and cream cheese, your favorite. In 2007, a mutual love for music inspired her and fellow actress Shawnee Smith to form Smith & Pyle, a country rock group that sadly disbanded in 2011. She also got to perform on Broadway in Boing Boing from 2008 to 2009. Her last role to date was that of Mercedes in the 2019 horror flick Ma. Number 6. Gabriel Mann it's not too surprising to find out that the sexiest guy in Riverdale would be played by a model. I cannot believe that they let you bring me to the city with you. Which is exactly how Gabriel Mann got his start and he still continues in the field to this day, working with the likes of photographer Mario Testino and designers Mark Jacobs and Calvin Klein. After his stint as Alan M., this model-slash-actor co-starred as Danny Zorn in the Bourne film series, played Arthur Case in four episodes of the second season of Mad Men, lent his voice to the Hulk in various Marvel animated series, 
and starred as billionaire hacker Nolan Ross on Revenge from 2011 to 2015. He has recently had recurring roles on the 2019 Netflix miniseries What If and the CW's Batwoman. Number 5. Alan Cumming While Wyatt Frame's British accent is as phony as his complexion, Alan Cumming is all natural. Oh. Now that is strange. Skilled and versatile, this Scottish actor has gone on to play important characters in American movies like Floop in the Spy Kids franchise and Nightcrawler in X2. He also has had recurring TV roles, like on the critically acclaimed The Good Wife from 2010 to 2016 and 2011's The Runaway. No! Where did you go to school, you idiot? Cumming is no stranger to the stage and is probably well known for his Tony Award winning run as the MC in Cabaret, which he performed on London's West End and Broadway. Since 2012, he's been married to illustrator Grant Schaefer and he was appointed the Order of the British Empire three years prior. Other notable roles include starring in two episodes of 2020's TV anthology Briar Patch, which features his Pussycats co-star Rosario Dawson. All the fury you feel, turn it into action. Number 4. Parker Posey Nobody can play a manipulative, lisping record exec such as Fiona quite like Parker Posey. Huh? What? Known as the Queen of the Indies in the 90s, she continued her work in small-budget features like A Mighty Wind as well as more mainstream projects, including Blade Trinity and Superman Returns. Sounds great, Lex, but you're not a god. She has made many appearances on different television shows as a guest, supporting or main actress, such as on 2018's Lost in Space as the petty criminal Dr. Smith. Doctor. Dr. Smith. Posey has performed in various successful Broadway shows since the movie, as well as published a memoir in 2017 titled You're on an Airplane, a self-mythologizing memoir. Her latest work includes portraying Marie in the indie Elsewhere, and on a 2020 episode of High Fidelity. Number 3. Tara Reid Although she'll likely be forever remembered as Vicky from American Pie, a role she reprised in the 2001 sequel American Pie 2 and 2012's American Reunion, let's not forget she also played our favorite ditzy drummer Melody Valentine. You know, you should always try to go to the bathroom before you leave the house, even if you don't have to. Afterwards, Reed ended up starring in a string of raunchy comedies, unsuccessful horror thrillers, and direct-to-video movies. However, most of her efforts to remain in the spotlight seemed futile, with her 2005 reality TV show Paradise being cancelled after only one season and most of her movies flopping. Things only started looking up in 2013 when she starred in the surprise sci-fi hit Sharknado and its five sequels. <laughs> Reed can be seen in the 2018 horror flick Ouija House and has many future projects in pre- and post-production as of 2020. Relax. If we get in trouble, it's because we're both here. It will be our little secret. Number 2. Rosario Dawson It's only fitting that the toughest bass player in Riverdale be played by one of the most badass actresses in Hollywood. Come on. Let's get out of here and find Josie. Known for her role in 1995's Kids, this actress-slash-singer's career continued to rise after portraying Valerie Brown in 2001. Her big screen body of work includes Men in Black 2, Rent, 25th Hour, Sin City, and more recently, the Lego Batman movie and Zombieland Double Tap. Start talking. Uh, you first. Hi, my name's Tallahassee. Meanwhile, she's graced the small screen as Claire Temple in five of the Marvel Netflix series, and as J.R. Ramos in the last two seasons of Jane the Virgin. I knew I couldn't trust you! In 2020, Dawson came out as part of the LGBTQ community. She adopted her daughter Lola in 2014 and has been dating New Jersey Senator Cory Booker since the late 2010s. She's also set to co-star in the second season of The Mandalorian. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Rachel Lee Cook Finally, we come to our fiery-haired lead, Josie McCoy. That's it. Well, I'm just 
Rachel Lee Cook was poised to become the next big thing after her starring role in 1999's She's All That. Unfortunately, she never did reach her star status, but has still kept busy with roles in smaller flicks like 29 Palms and Scorched, playing Jane Brighton in the 2007 mystery comedy Nancy Drew, and starring in films on the Hallmark Channel. Cook also reprised her famous 90s anti-drug PSA in 2017 and lent her voice to a number of video game characters, including Tifa Lockhart in Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy VII. Everything's clear over here. Though she separated from her husband in 2019, this mother of two is set to appear in the Netflix romantic comedy Love Guaranteed. Yeah, and we have two other uh, rescue cats meant to get one, but they're just so cute and I couldn't choose, so now I have two. Yeah. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.